Hello and welcome to this video which is another theatre weekend because today uh, we're going off to see the new Andrew Lloyd Webber musical Cinderella which I'm really excited for I've heard lots of good things about this one so I really want to go and see it plus the ticket's been changed a few times and the seats have been changed a few times and blah 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 but I won't go into that because frankly I've got other things I want to moan about so if you will let me have a little pity party for one for a moment that would be appreciated because this weekend I had this whole plan of making it Cinderella based um, I am in fact wearing a blue dress for, for the occasion inspired by the woman herself the Disney version not any other version and uh, Obviously we're going to see Cinderella the Musical. I've just started Geekerella, which is a Cinderella retelling as my book. And I was going to watch the new Cinderella Musical that's on Amazon Prime with, I think it's Camilla Cabello, which I've heard is actually really, really pants, but who's going to watch that? But life is not my friend at the moment. And there's just far too much going on and I'm a little bit overwhelmed, it has to be said, with the... Uh, obviously we have just come back from Blackpool, that was last weekend for us, but obviously a few weeks for you because the videos, there's more than one of them. So last weekend we came back from Blackpool and then I've had a incredibly busy week at work where I haven't finished till about six pretty much every day with limited lunches. And this week's going to be much the same, the week coming. Which means that other stuff, life stuff, such as, you know, the washing up, oh, that's nice, it was all left. So that took me about 40 minutes yesterday. And all of that kind of stuff, like the flat's a mess, we've got piles of washing. Obviously Christmas is coming, I'm trying to sort all of that out and just everything, getting those Blackpool videos up in time. Basically, I feel like there's a lot going on and I'm not really got a handle on any of it. The whole Cinderella film part of this vlog is not going to be a thing. But I'm sure you don't mind. I'm sure you'll be fine. Anyway, that's the end of my little pity party for one. Thank you for listening. So this is also why I'm starting this video on my walk with Jeff here. Uh, because I'm trying to multitask. I don't have huge amounts of time until I have to leave to get to the tube station to make my way into London. And I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to film things. And I've got other things I need to film because the videos are coming out soon and ah! So I thought I would take you along on our little walk in the park. I mean, as I said, the sun is lovely. But today is the first day I've actually had to get out my scarf. I probably need my gloves, it's very cold. Um, I think the temperature's about seven degrees, but the app says it feels like four. And holding this camera, my fingers are starting to drop off a little bit. So with that in mind, I think I'm gonna uh, get on, walk Jeff, sort myself out, and then excuse the train there, and then uh, catch you at a time when I'm feeling slightly less frazzled but welcome to the video anyway I hope you enjoy it made it to the tube I've uh, got an advent calendar to deliver to my brother Santa or Santa's little helper settle down and read this which I actually found for free on the bookshelf in this tube station Let's say I'm tying in my two interests today. It's, it seemed appropriate anyway. We're about to go, so see you on the other side. I found an Adam. Hello, I am an Adam. Um, we're in a pub. It's Sunday, so we're having a roast. But yeah. for Dad, weak potatoes. Weak potatoes. I'm not impressed by potatoes. Oh, no. But red cabbage, that's always good. <laughs> getting very annoyed at Mariah being played. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting her. She's, she was up here somewhere now. <laughs> <laughs> She's 
following me. Oh, she wants a Christmas as yoga. No, yeah, she's told me enough times. <laughs> Mariah is 10, you know, 10th of December. Mm -hmm. You can't even, you can't even start with Mariah. Some people say you have to. No. Kangam style, for real. I thought it was extremely camp. <laughs> much, much camp than I was expecting. Uh, the macho, macho man scene where a, a woman in a sort of 18th century court dress dances around with a load of like, extremely muscly, very, very muscly, oily dudes. It was a bit of a surprise. I was on board. Uh, first half was more fun than the second. Yeah. And I guess my favourite was the prince. I guess that's the same in Norma Cinderella. What was that? There's so a lot of things. The build-up to a story was always more interesting than the resolution. Often, yeah. So, but yeah, no, good fun. Uh, if you want a silly day out, a silly night, I'll do it for you. <laughs> I didn't think it was for kids though, there were loads of kids there. Yeah, I didn't think it was particularly like children friendly. Choreography and the script even. Yeah. Quite explicit. Um, before I get copyrighted by... Uh, Oh, we've got a new song. Before, let's hear it for the boys. I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, I've got like five minutes before my next meeting, so I thought I'd take this chance to talk to you about Cinderella, which obviously I saw last night. You may have heard Adam's views, but I don't know how well that clip will have come out, and also narrow path, lots of people, hence why the, the view of it may have been a bit strange. But I really enjoyed Cinderella. It as Adam said, is way camper than I was expecting. Um, but for me, uh, that just added to the enjoyment, the sort of slightly silliness of it. It did mean that because all the ensemble and, you know, like the stepsisters and stuff and the stepmother were so out there that Cinderella and the prince come across as more normal than outcasts, if that makes sense. But I thought it was really good and as you will have known I've been having a bit of a tricky time and that took me completely out of that mindset and into a much happier mindset for a couple of hours. I completely forgot about everything and the stuff that I needed to do and just sat back and enjoyed the show which I will always appreciate particularly after how I was feeling so that may be why I enjoyed it as well. We did get to see Carrie Hope Fletcher in the lead role which was what I was hoping and anticipating because nowhere in all of the stuff was she supposed to be off but you never know illness strikes and all of that um, but we did have was he Michael or Matthew? I'm gonna say Michael Hamway as Prince Sebastian instead of Ivano and I thought he was great when people moan about like understudies and stuff I get it there's always going to be a bit of a disappointment if you're going to a show specifically for someone for example if Carrie wasn't Cinderella there would have been a bit of oh that's a pity I wanted to see her but I don't get why people get so angry about it when the understudies are great they're the understudy for a reason. It's not because they're slightly worse at the role so they didn't get it. They're still really, really good. And he was. He was actually probably the best character in the show. He was also the one that managed to... What's the word I'm looking for? I want to say portray out, but that doesn't make sense. Because um, we were right on the side. We had a very side-on view of everything. So when they're looking out to the audience, we don't really see their face and he was the one that included us most. And on the seats, just to add, when I originally booked these tickets way back when, where before it had even opened, we were supposed to be in the stalls, in the fun seats, shall we say, without giving anything away. But obviously, when it got to our time to go and see the show, it was actually shut at that point because the cast, uh, one of the cast tested positive, so at that point the rules were that the show had to shut 
and that's when our tickets were going to be so I had to rebook them because they annoyingly cancelled them rather than just move them over to another show and in doing that obviously the show had now come out they'd seen what has happened to those seats that I had originally booked and they'd put the price up so that's why we ended up where we did and um, our view was really good uh, there was a little bit obviously right at the far edge of the stage that we couldn't see but a lot of that was ensemble and the same thing was happening on the other side just with a different person so it's not like we really missed out on that and yeah I just really enjoyed enjoyed it, the sort of absurdity of it all and would recommend going to see it the songs are really good as well um, for a new musical they're actually quite catchy I think it helps that I knew a couple of them already because they've been doing the rounds but even the ones I didn't know I really enjoyed. The cast are just really talented, like the ensemble are really good at what they do and all the dancing and obviously them poor men have to be shirtless for most of the show and, and they are ripped so I'm sure, I'm sure there's a lot of work going on backstage to maintain all of that and then the lead roles were cast really well in my opinion. So yeah overall Really glad we finally got to go and see that new Andrew Lloyd Webber musical, even if it is in possibly the ugliest building ever. The theatre from the outside is really not nice, but inside it's actually really nice and the seats are really comfortable and there's quite a lot of leg room, or at least where we were there was. So yeah, that's I think my last show of the year, unless I book something else, <laughs> which is always possible with me. So you may not be getting any theatre, theatre stuff anytime soon because I don't think I've got anything booked now. I need to remedy that. I need to get some stuff booked. But anyway, I have no idea how long this vlog is, what's in it, um, because as I said at the beginning I'm a little bit all over the place. But with that in mind I hope you enjoyed it anyway um, and if you did please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!